Watch you guys got another video here for you on how to check your graphics card specs on Windows 10. Now there's quite a few ways of going about doing this. I just want to show you a bunch of different ways that you can get the full specification of your graphics card that you're using on that version of Windows. So let's first start off with the command prompt, type in here CMD and run this as administrator. This will open up the command prompt box as you can see here. And there's going to be a bunch of commands that you can put in here to get the information about the graphics card. I'll post all these in the video description for you so you can just copy and paste them in. And you can see here it's telling me this is an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1660 Super. Very easy way to find out what graphics card is on that system without even an open up the case. You can use the cursor keys on your keyboard to push the up arrow key to bring up the command again and delete the name and put adapter RAM and this will give you the adapter RAM of that graphics card. Another one that you can do just keep using your up arrow key on the keyboard and delete that last name and we're going to give it driver version and this will give us the driver version for that graphics card. There we go it just gives you the version of it here. Now I'm showing you this in command prompts because I want you to try to learn something about command prompts and also other ways of getting information on the computer. Now you can also use this command here which will get you the device ID. Now this can be gotten in other places on the computer. I just want to show you how to get it up in command prompt as well. Now there's loads of easier ways to get information on the graphics card, but what have you learned by just using those methods? I want to show you many different ways of doing it so you can learn about computers and learn as much as you can on how to do things. So this command here will bring up all of the information on the graphics card and you can copy this to notepad if you wish with a command inside command prompt or you can just copy and paste this in, it's entirely up to you. Can bring out a table uh, as well so it just makes it all nice and organized and it gives you all the information about the graphics card itself as you can see here the drivers also the name of the card and a bunch of other information okay so let's move on to another way of going about doing this and that is inside PowerShell now I'm not going to spend too much time in PowerShell because it will be exactly the same as command prompt but different commands so as you can see here we've got this command here, if I push this in and push enter, it will tell me the name of the graphics card. Same thing, but just a different uh, prompt box window and called PowerShell, that's all. So let's close that off and I'll leave all these commands in the video description. So let's move on to the next way. Now a lot of people probably don't even go into a DirectX diagnostic tool here. So we're just gonna type in here DX Diog and put that in here and you can run this as administrator it will ask you do you want to check your drivers are digitally signed I'm going to say yes and this will open up a box here which is your DirectX diagnostic tool inside here you'll get all the system information but we're interested on the GPU today so we're going to go to uh, display one and this will give us all that information for us so let's go over to display one and you can see here it's given us the graphics card name. It's also given us the manufacturer. You've got the uh, chip type here and also the DAC type and the device type and also total memory, display memory, which is your VRAM, your shared memory, main driver, also driver version, the date of that driver and a bunch of other information on here, which can be very useful for PC technicians or for people that want to give information to someone else of what specs they've got on their graphics card. So that is the DirectX diagnostic tool. I'm going to close this off and we're going to move on to another area where we can get information about our graphics card. So let's close that off. I'm going to go back down to the search box here and we're going to type in here MS info. Inside here in the system info, we're going to run this as administrator. You'll see this uh, pops up a box which gives us loads of information about the system, but we're going to go to the components tab here, push the plus sign, and we're going to go to display. 
This will then give us all of the information of that graphics card, as you can see here, the name of the graphics card, the device ID number, adapter type, and loads of other information inside here, all about that graphics card, the driver, and everything else that you need to know about there. It even tells you the resolution, the hertz of the monitor, and other bits and pieces inside here as well. So that is the system information area. So let's close that off and move on to another area and take a look at what else we can find here. So what we're going to do next is going to go down to the taskbar and right click and go task manager, then go performance. Inside here, you'll see a GPU area. Click on this and this will tell you some basic information about your GPU, It'll give you the GPU name, It'll also give you a little graph here, and it will also give you some utilization, some GPU memory, the driver version, and also the driver date, and also DirectX version, and a bunch of other stuff inside here. It's pretty minimal, and you also get the temperature in here as well, but it can be great for just getting that information quickly so let's right click on the start button here and then go to device manager. This is probably the most minimalist way of getting some information in display adapters. You can see it just lists your display adapter. If we right click on this and go to properties, it tells us the manufacturer name. We've got the driver provider, the date and the driver version here. We've got some other information inside here. And this is where you could probably get more information like hardware ID and other stuff like that. But again, this is probably a little bit more harder to do, uh, but it does give you a bunch of information here that might be useful to you at a quick glance if you want something quickly. So let's just shut that off and then go to this tool here, which you can download off the internet, which is called GPU Z. It's a very powerful piece of software, and this is a really tried and trusted method by a lot of people. So choose your country, download the actual software here, and once we get this downloaded, we can get this installed or we can just run it as a, a one time uh, viewing. So let's go ahead and open this up. So you can see here, install GPU Z. You can either say no, I'd like to uh, use the classic standalone mode. And that's that. So just click no if you want to just run it once. And this will open up the program as you can see here. So now we've got the graphics card here and you can see it gives you loads of information with little pop-up bubbles here that gives you loads of detail about that graphics card. This is going to give you the most information you're going to ever need, like release date, technology, also the GPU, the name, also the BIOS version of that card. It's a UEFI version. You can see here the name of the vendor, which is a Zotac PC partner, device ID here, bunches of other information, the bus info interface that it's using, the shaders, the DirectX support, probably a bit overkill for most people, but for techie people, this is the go-to tool where you can get as much information as possible, like the GPU clock, the driver date, the default clock. You can even get the sensors here that gives you all the sensor information about the card, like the temperature, the fan speed, and uh, the maximum fan speed there, memory used, GPU load, and so on, all inside here. So very, very good. You can log this to a file. Also, you've got advanced area here for other information about this card as well. So you can see quite in depth and probably a little bit too much for the average user. Uh, but if you are you know, an advanced user, you may want to get this information on your graphics card. Anyway, that's going to be about it. That's a few ways on how to check your graphics card specs on Windows 10. Now, there's quite a few other ways you can go about doing this with other types of software. But again, you get the general idea. This video is about learning and showing people many different ways to do things. Some people will just say, why don't you just do this? And again, what have you learned by doing that? Not a lot. So I try to show you a bunch of different ways so you can learn something about Windows 10 and Windows itself and how to get information on that GPU or graphics card on that system without even opening up the case of the computer. Anyway, 
With that said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope this video helps you out. I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the red subscribe button and then hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos. Thank <laughs> you.